this right here this is a crankshaft and many of you comment on my comment sections or ask me in different platforms asking me if the crankshaft can be removed without taking the engine apart and the answer is not many of you ask me hey uh, can i remove the crankshaft without removing the engine from the frame of the vehicle that is not possible it is something that is super hard to do without removing it because there is no room you have components in both ends on the front you got components like covers front covers pulleys and everything and on the back you have maybe in this case at this dd15 you have gear covers gears transmission and everything and all that has to be removed in order to remove the crankshaft as i'm going to show you right now this is the process of removing a crankshaft first of course you have to remove the engine from the vehicle and that will require different tools depending on what um, are your uh, needs you know depending on how big the engine is that's the type of tool you're gonna need in this case using a four leg will be the best because you know heavy duty engines are very heavy so once you remove the engine you have to take the engine apart you have to take many different components apart in order to get all the components out so we can work on the crankshaft the reason is then everything is connected to this and we have to take heads we have to take um, top covers housings rear housings and everything else that is connected to the engine in order to access the crankshaft and this is because we are going to do a full overhaul at the same time that means then doing a full overhaul we have to remove all the components pistons cylinder liners and everything and the reason is is because when you replace a crankshaft the best is to do a full overhaul the reason why is because you are going to put the main piece of the engine that is called the crankshaft and if you're going to reuse all those components the repair is not going to be the best so if you are going to replace a crankshaft either then this i mean doesn't matter if this crankshaft is going to be a used or a new crankshaft doesn't matter if you are going to do a crankshaft replacement you have to remove all these components so that way we get a full engine built and we got a guarantee that the engine is going to work perfectly so as we go we have to go to the bag as well remove all the timing uh, covers in this case we have a dd15 engine to show you uh, but if you have a Cummins ISX you have to go to the front and remove all the gear covers in the front and you have to do you know remove all the gears remove all the seals everything and remember then right here i'm showing you just how to remove all the components once the engine is outside the vehicle if the engine is inside the vehicle remember you have to remove transmission you have to remove clutch and you have to remove different components then you have to uh, rem uh the, you have to remove different components then are going to stop you from removing the engine from the vehicle uh, what we're gonna do right here is taking the engine completely and just leaving the engine block and once we left uh, the engine block uh, engine block completely empty we are going to remove the pistons cylinder liners and all the other components that are part of the engine block so that way we get a clear access to the crankshaft and once we remove all these components we can easily remove all the main caps that are the main uh, support of the crankshaft and we remove all these caps in order to remove the uh, the crankshaft and once we have this yes the crankshaft is out but that is something that you have to have on mind the crankshaft cannot be just replaced just like that and many of you have that curiosity if the crankshaft can be replaced without removing the engine from the vehicle so the answer is no but it is possible to replace the crankshaft without taking the engine apart you can remove most of the components of the engine but without removing the top area of the component uh, of the uh, of the engine the cylinder head and everything you can take it to a machine shop 
and they are going to work just on their on this area of the engine just this area all we have to do is remove all these components from the back from the from the bottom and then remove the crankshaft and put a new one but that is the reason why we have to take it to a machine shop for that we take the engine completely to a machine shop and they are going to do that for us uh, in this case we are just going to take the engine block but we are going to do a full overhaul but uh, if you want to experiment this uh, um, engine repair without taking the without removing the engine com I mean taking apart the engine completely you can do that you can just you know take it to a machine shop and they're just going to reservice uh, re the bottom part of the engine and that will be it but either way you have to remove the engine from the frame of the vehicle so this is just for your information in order for you to know because you know many of you have the curiosity if it's possible to remove a crankshaft without removing the engine so either either option you take take a full overhaul or just replace the crankshaft and repair the main and the rod bearings on a machine shop you still have to take the engine off and there is no exception with that so uh i hope then you guys uh understand the point it's a very um a specific point um, I just wanted to clarify for you then uh, if you keep on asking uh, how will be to replace a crankshaft if you cannot take the engine apart but uh, that will be something very hard and if you have a small vehicle it's going to be even harder because in a small vehicle you have to take the engine completely apart to remove the crankshaft uh, uh, the point is very clear uh, you have any ty any type of questions go to the comment section below ask anything about it and uh, you uh, want any type of answers or you have the answers for these uh, comments please comment below because you know we want answers and everything uh, it's very important for you to comment so that way we understand more about these machines uh, be sure to send support to the channel check the description of below uh, I have details how to send support to the channel and uh, that way I can create content like this and uh, be sure to like the video, follow me on Instagram, ask me anything there and thank you for watching.